wheels haven't come in the post. What an amazing view this yard's got. Look at that. It's playing leapfrog to get back in front again now. We're just checking in now, but I've been able to put the car on charge, which is good. Anyway, there's a little sign over here that you put stickers on. I've got one of these, going to put it on. And uh, there's the signpost, obviously. Combine is tucked up over there. See it? So, stick this on here. If we meet any kids on the route as well, we've been giving them them little mini Merlots or mini combines. There we go. On the side, there's a signpost. Right, it's five o'clock in the morning, that's where we stayed last night, the combine over there. Anyway, there's a, there's a fence there. So when James ran over to the combine last night, he didn't know it went flying, it's a uh, sheet netting fence. We saw a van parked by the combine. So we ran over just to check that it, uh, what they were up to and then went arse over. So, right, um, let's go. Right, I think we're good to go. Uh, big thanks to everyone that showed up to wave us off this morning, considering it's so early. And not many people live up here. We'll leave Ian behind with the wagon. He's there. And off we go. So that's it. We've probably done the first few hundred yards now. A little bit steamed up on the window. James is going to sort the aircon out now after we stop car recording. So first mile, we haven't seen any cars. We haven't seen any cyclists. Uh, we haven't seen any grey fergies. We haven't seen any mopeds. And it's pretty quiet, the roads. I think we'll do nearly all of this where we're not on A and B roads before anyone's even up this morning. A little bit of drizzle on the window as well. That's for the white from. Right, we've been going now about, about 20 minutes and we've done nine miles, or just nearly 10. So we're done 1% so far. And only passed one car. Pulled over and let some cars pass us, but they were the ones that came to wave us off. An old castle over there, maybe Annabelle. Right, little Lexi in there in the shed, is it? The car. There we go, there's a glass dealer in Wick. 40 minutes into the journey. So we've been going an hour now, we think we've done 25 miles, which is pretty good. Absolutely nothing on the roads. Um, and it's still saying on the other field. Right. Just got a van just come up behind us, so right by a passing place, which is handy, so we'll let them pass. But they were waving at us before when we drove past the drive. There's the sea. This route, you basically just skirt the coast for about a mile. Now, so we're just going to check everything. That's just climbed up a massive hill. 38 degrees, that's pretty cool. Let's just see what... What are them? They're really cold. They're a lot colder than when we did the test run. That'll do. Not bad after two hours. Going around it, checking if no oil leaks and stuff, it's sort of falling off on the bus, can't it? That'll be off the wagon yesterday, won't it, Spoon? Half a dog stop now, just checking up there as well. So we're so far, we're about, about there, maybe. We've done uh, two hours, we've done a, nearly two hours, about 45 miles, I think we've done. Put a bit of talc on the tracks. 
be a nice view if it wasn't so cloudy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go again. Right, we, we're two hours in now and we've done, done 48 miles, we think, which is pretty decent, really. Uh, roads are so quiet. We've pulled over a few times to let people pass. Those people are just waving. Um, yeah, uh, there's some places where we've only had to indicate and people have just overtook us anyway. Just we've indicated left, moved over, and they've just come past. So no hassle there at all. Road's amazing, look at that, proper. Tracks are running cool, all good. Scenery's amazing, up here now. Brighten up a bit as well. Good roads still. We're now, what are we, 70 miles off, 70 mile off Inverness. 70 miles north of Inverness. We're 50 miles into the journey uh, in two hours, 10 minutes, which is brilliant. That's including a quick stop as well. up here, especially the spring barley. Definitely getting a bit better weather than we are for growing barley. We're just 11 miles off a um, bridge over a river that's got good signal for pulling over for BBC breakfast. 40, 50 miles short of Inverness. Now we're 35 maybe. We've got a fast track here, pulled over, got its lights on at the digger. Obviously they must be tracking us on the app so they know where we're at. Give them yeah, and, some, and some walkers. Yeah. <laughs> we're just uh, talking the tracks up. We've actually even started to put some on the grips as well. Just to, just to harden them up a bit, make them slip a bit more, so we don't wear them. They're doing all right though, they're not actually running warm, that was our biggest concern. James is just shaking into the idlers. So where are you from? Sarah and Sesta, and yeah. you, you've Sarah just been fishing. Yeah, up yeah. in Brora. So we'll Going probably see him again as we go through Sarah and Sesta in a few days. <laughs> and your cousin ran it last year. Yeah, for mine as well. In, in 20 tw days. 20 days. Youngest female ever to run it. There we go. So that was for mine charity as well. <laughs> we've just set off now and there's a big cloud of talc behind us because we've talc the tracks up. Off we go over the bridge. James is in the driving seat now. Next stop, Asda to fill the car up. Uh, we're going to top that up with petrol for when the battery gets flat. As well. And it fills up as well with a bit of breakfast. So we've just been filming for breakfast on this bridge. Coming over the other side, there's quite a few people stopped to wave us on. We've just had a quick pit stop at Asda uh, near Tain, I think we are. Uh, making really good progress. So we've actually sat down and had something to eat. Uh, combine is doing fine tracks are doing fine can't see a little bit of wear on them expected expect we've probably just done two years worth of road use already today just checking the tyre pressures on the rear wheels and the, the indicators to the wheels haven't come in the post so I'm just marking them up with a sharpie pen so we can check if anything moves We just loop this roundabout so we can let some cars through. I don't think they were stuck behind us because we only just set off again. The class van there giving us a wave. 100%. Someone here 100%. That'll do. coming along here now and you can see some of the oil platforms there in the in the bay i think they repair them here one just behind them buildings that farm as well i think last time when i was up here there was loads of them just sat in there doing nothing 
but there seems to be a lot less now. Not very clear it's on the camera. The wheat looks very well. We've been doing well, but we've been stuck behind this Range Rover Sunday driver for the last few hours now. That winter ball is looking good there, isn't it? Nice farm there on the hill. Here we go. Some more kids here now with signs out. That's dedication now, standing on the top of your truck. James is driving for a bit now. I've just been checking the Just Giving. Jeff, who organises the Kelso Steam Rally, has just got £500 donation on that's amazing. Uh, we might take this combine, or James might take this combine, depending on how tired we all are, um, to the Steam Rally. It, what, what day is it? 24th of June? No, 25th, 25th of June, we think. Either way, the Zerion will be there, and probably the 936, because we can go some tracks pulling as well. Another stunning view. Scenery up here is amazing. If you've never been to Scotland, visit Scotland. Decided that we'd uh, keep a bit of a tally up here, so we've passed two combines and one yellow car so far. Crossing another bridge. Um, oh, focus your stupid camera. Water looks still as anything. Pulled off the A9 for a minute just to get some refreshments that someone's kindly uh, made for us. So we're just following this John Deere back to the yard to park. That's the bridge we've just been over. What an amazing view this yard's got. Look at that right across there. I don't even know where we are. Where are we now? What's the, what's the district? Black Isle. We're just, just oh, we stopped for Black Isle. Isle for something to eat. You've just seen Atsley outside. Pemberton's milk bottle up there. That's a come a fair way, that. That's fascinating. Nice yeah, the ladders are in. All right, thanks everyone. Uh, on the Black Isle, it's just fed us, watered us. We're just uh, hitting the road now. Oh, there's two cars coming. Dope. Apparently, we've been on the radio all day as well. They've took this audio off BBC Breakfast and um, been playing it on the radio one. Let's go. There's a fast track. Carl's coming the other way, Flash as well. Is that fire in your coat? It's an icon as well. Coming over now, the bridge into Inverness. Still making really good time. Quite narrow lane, so escort vehicles just holding the cars just back so they can't overtake at the same time because it's quite I'm narrow. Out, the time we've been on the road, and the time that we've done, even though we stopped and stood about and put the alcohol powder on ourselves, 17.6, I think, miles an hour average. That's not bad because I reckon we've been parked up for an hour and 40. There must be Inverness football ground. That's where we were looking for the combine yesterday, but couldn't find it. Wouldn't want to do it on that tra tractor, would you? Pulled in a lay-by here now to let some cars past. It's mostly dual carriageway, but this is just a bit of single track. So we thought we'd hang back. There's a yellow car. Get on the tally chart. So look at them views. Stunning. Lovely and warm as well. There we go. Amazing. Just the camera does not do it justice, what you can see. James is just pointing out a very good thing. We're in the, on the car now, we swapped around a bit. Uh, to show you the view, but he just said, doesn't look out of place a combine on the roads with skies and weather as good as this. There's the Minion anyway hanging on. Um, and then there's Woody and Buzz Lightyear as well. 
So we're about 75 mile, about just over three hours away from where we're stopping tonight. So we should be there just after five, hopefully, or five, six o'clock. But I do know we've got a tailback that we've got to get through for them roadworks. Yet more stunning scenery. And then if you look behind us, the combine is looking very cool with the lights all flashing. Courtesy of UTV. Quick shameless plug. Pulling in now, let the combine go past so we can swap places as it turns to dual carriageway. What a beast, what a sky. There's Martin with his drone. This is the view off the top of election of the Kengorns, is it? Happy birthday to your mum. Uh, James is just dusting these uh, tracks. We're just trying to cut the wear down a little bit. I think we've worn a mill and a half in uh, 180 mile, which to be fair is not too bad. 180 miles, probably a good a good season's work. Yet more amazing scenery. We're now 28 miles from Perth. Some hellish views today. Castle there. There's the combine. There's the header as well. Spud's over there. Someone's had an issue with the spud planter. You can't see from here now. Another river. So is that 724 then a tanker? Quite a few people here. Just yeah. playing leapfrog to get back in front again now. And it goes back to single carriageway. This is the support of the day. So this guy was at the end of his drive, was it six o'clock this morning? Yeah. If not earlier, cardboard sign, only feeling 60%. And he'd even made a cardboard thing saying, uh, good luck as well. It's a bit hard to see in the picture, uh, but yeah, well done to that guy. Look who it is. <laughs> Drop my phone. That was Rebecca as in um, Becca and Lizzie. She's on holiday, Rebecca Wilson here with my mum and dad so they were just there waving at us yeah, and I dropped my phone because it was connected to the phone charger so we've just got half a mile to go now we've just come through the roadworks didn't manage to munch any cones there's the combine behind now John's driving at the moment so not long what have we done 8.15 so pretty decent really that's 230 odd miles done this is the longest day as well not sure if he's there already but Crawford Farms is also coming to meet us so we'll have a catch up with him as well. We weren't sure where we were going but we, we're guessing it's going to be where the people are so that is a uh, day one complete. And they've got a combine in as well, another Lexian, another one to tick off on the window. We're going to jump out and say hello to everyone and I'm going to end the video now but massive thank you to everyone we've seen in Scotland today. I mean, I don't know whether it will get this welcome when we get further down the country but the Scottish people, thank you so much for like coming out waving. I know it's a Sunday and people um, aren't in work but it's, um, yeah, amazing. Thank you. Even Martin wants to say something. It was brilliant. Scotland, you were amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. So we'll see you all tomorrow anyway for day two. Oh yeah, another thing as well, the combine could not have been any better as well. It's outperformed how we expected. I think we can tick that off and uh, tick that off. Get you in the video means that you've got a quality top on and a quality hat. Class hat, look at that. Matchy matchy. Just talking the tracks up ready for morning. Who we've bumped into, it's that guy off Country File. Okay, a big, big time out. So this is Crawford. If you don't already follow him, go and find him. Crawford Farms. He's also got a Lexian. So he's got taste. Sweet, sweet Lexians. You can't beat them. Can't beat them. And what's this puppy called? This is Betty. She's got a wee bit of paint on her snout. I thought she'd been running through the pollen. That's all gone now. Even in Scotland, it's gone now. You need to check out his, his, his rye maze as well. 
That's opening tomorrow, is it? Yeah, opening tomorrow. Have a wee check out of that. It is a aid of my name's Doddy for MND Foundation um, to try and raise a bit of money, just like Ollie's doing. So have a check that out. Cheers, Ollie. Pinches all my good ideas. Well, some of them, some of them. It's got some flower maids as well coming soon. <laughs> yeah, no, check him out, Crawford Farms on YouTube. Yep, yeah, cheers, adios. It's another Joe Seals ending, so it's a double ending, but massive shout out to sellers who are putting us up for tonight and also feeding us as well and supplies here. So uh, day two is, day one is over, day two is tomorrow. Thanks again for watching.